In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to post a Google Doc or, and a Google presentation onto one of your pages in Mahara. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the Google Doc open that you're wanting to publish. Over on the left hand side under File, you're going to go select it until you get a drop down menu. And part way down you're going to see an option for Publish to the Web. Click on that and then you'll also notice you could put a link, but it's kind of nice when you can actually see the document embedded right into your into your page. So you're going to click on Embed, and you're going to click on Publish. And it's going to ask if you want to publish this selection, so you're going to say OK. And then it's going to give you some HTML coding. You need to make sure that you get all the coding in there. If you left something out, it wouldn't publish properly. So you're going to select all of that, and then you're going to hit Command-C or Copy. And from there, you're going to then go to your Mahara page. So you're going into Mahara. You're going to open up your personal interest project page from your pages under Portfolio. You're going to select that. And of course, you're going to go to the button that says Edit This Page. On the Edit This Page button, you'll see that you probably already have your journal, perhaps. And you have your list of widgets on the left-hand side. When you go down to find Google, you're going to find it underneath External. And there you're going to find Google Apps. So you select your Google Apps widget and drag it over onto your page. Once it's dropped, you're going to change the name from Google Apps. And I'm going to call it My Personal Interest Project Planning this is where I'm doing all my research and planning. The next box you'll notice is for your embed code or your HTML coding. So you're going to paste that in. Command V will paste it quickly. You don't really need to set any of these other things and then hit save. And you'll notice it appears on the page. However, on my page I have three columns selected in my layout and it really doesn't look that great. So I'm going to go up over here to edit layout and I'm going to change how that looks. I think it would probably be a lot better if I did two columns or even one. I'm going to try two and see how that looks. So that's a little bit better. I still think it's a little bit uh, squished. So I'm going to go back to Edit Layout and I'm going to select a single column. Now if I go here and scroll down, I'll see that it's far more interesting to look at. And I can also scroll down and see everything inside of that Google Doc. The next thing I'm going to do now is go back and place in a Google presentation. So if I'm going to go along the top, I've already got my presentation open. Same sort of process, pretty much identical. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go Publish to Web. I'm going to go to Embed. And there's the embed code. You'll notice in here it gives me a couple default things. I can select how often I want the slide to advance, so I could have it every three seconds or less, or every minute. Every minute would be, would be incredibly long. So the default is every three seconds. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, you can also have it start the slideshow as soon as the player loads or restart. I prefer to leave those just so that somebody starts it on a on a um, on a click of a button. So I'm going to take my HTML HTML coding from here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to then go to Mo uh, sorry, Mahara. I'm going to go do the same thing, go to External, grab my Google app, decide whether I want it below or above my other things. So I'm going to put it actually down below. Actually, I'm going to put it up here near the top. I'm going to then change the name again. This is my personal Rest project pitch. Place my embed code again and hit save. Now my whole slideshow is there and it can easily be advanced and people can watch it. I need to make sure I remember to go to the bottom of my page and hit done when I'm finished. And it should be ready to see. So if I go back and look at it, I've got a fairly nice looking page with my journal at the top, my pitch, and my planning. And of course I could add anything else I want on this page 
by going back into edit this page and selecting any of these things along the side to add photos, text, or whatever I want throughout the course of my project. And that summarizes posting Google Apps on your Mahara page.